guess it kind of worked out like that. You, you get a lot of receivers that are getting touches. <laughs> Daryl, you, I mean, you go down the list. Do you feel like it's like you're all kind of jacking for, for position to become like the guy he, he trusts with the ball most? Uh, no, I think uh, like how we were just talking, to, I think it's uh, kind of good like that because it opened up all of us in, in the one-on-one and the deep balls and have comedy each other and we play off each other and stuff like that. So I think it can help us all out. You mentioned the confidence that Brian has in you. How much of those big third down conversions that you had, how much does that help especially? Uh, it helps a lot to me seeing that uh, I think I caught a lot of my balls this year on third down and third and long. So I think uh, he has a lot of confidence in me and trusting me that I can uh, make a big play. So. As a quarterback, is Brian a guy that, that goes where the read takes him? Yeah, most definitely. He's an uh, all-around great quarterback, I think. Yeah. Is there anything that you can take away from the Notre Dame game and apply it moving forward? Uh, the turnovers. Uh, we have crucial turnovers and bad uh, and in the worst moments. I think on the, on the one-yard line with LJ and on the 20 going in with Brian and the, obviously the pick six. So. Uh, take away those, and, and we'll be probably in the game checking the uh, stats, uh, stat line. So uh, we just need to limit the turnovers, protect the ball, and then uh, we'll be all right. What's something the non-conference schedule that you were really pleased with with this team? Uh, our grit and our uh, the way we came back. We uh, we trusted in ourselves, uh, being 14-0 and uh, fighting back, and we just we just it just didn't go our way. But uh, we we started off pretty well, and now we're ready to get in a Big Ten play. So. Did you happen to?